not going to jail. I am not going to show myself naked. Not good. Get a shirt on. Oh God. Angry bird. Who? 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 Everyone did so sure you. Bye. Well, we can record a little bit longer. Oh, it has to be a lag. I love this commercial. Finished the road trip. Wow. Look at all these windmills off Route 153. There's a lot of them. Look at that. Ooh. Good. We are going to, we are about 20 miles from Interstate 20. So just enjoy the view of the windmills. Central Time. And guess what? We're driving down US 84. As you can tell, it's a, a four-lane highway. We're about 82 miles left from Lubbock. I will say this. This has been an interesting drive so far. I'm enjoying it. Are you guys? So I hope I'm getting my face on the camera. So I'm looking at it. But yeah, I've enjoyed this trip. Uh, do too many more updates before we get the weather because this road we're on, let me just say it's, as you can probably tell, it's quite boring. Anyway, um, well, I guess we'll be here in Lubbock. I'm hoping to be in Lubbock within about an hour. So, hope you've enjoyed this.
this. This is the junction at US 62, and over there is the building, so we're going to start working our way over to it now. Alright, we're driving down Broadway, and the Metro Tower is right in front of us. This is a cobblestone street, so hopefully we are in for a treat. And this will end this part of this video. We drove all the way to Lubbock to film the elevators in that building. I'm so deep and modded. Alright people, look what we're standing out in front of. That's right, this is the Metro Tower. And you are in for a treat. I'm sorry if there's wind in the microphone, but that'll stop once we get in the building. Heavy door. The building was built in 1955. In 1970, this building took a direct hit from an F5 tornado. Look at these elevators. This is, gonna be this a is amazing. <clears throat> wow, two of them just opened up. The clock works. It's telling the correct time. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Listen to that bell. Oh. Again, when the Westie wants to close, the Westie will close. I'll go to 19, and I lost focus. Jacob, this camera's terrible. Well, my camera is terrible too. I'll show you something on 19. This elevator has a weird issue. It's going to go all the way up to 20 first. So we might lose it. So we'll go ahead and get a cab view of this one. Actually, yeah, watch. It's going to go to 20. See, we're going up to 20. And then... 
19 pops out, which will go back to 19. Oh, this car next just lit up. Again, look at this elevator. Hey now, this one is beautiful, and I bet it's going to go all the way down. Yep, see, 19 stayed in. It's going to go all the way down the stairs. But I want to show you something. Look at this, intermediate station. There's an intermediate call station. This is one of the office hallways. Let's look at the man-powered elevator. Okay. Where's the man Oh, here's the man-powered elevator. Wow. Obviously, this is a Westinghouse man-powered elevator. Elevator Times has also filmed this elevator. Wow, and an elevator came without me even calling it. Talk about... Oh, oh, and when the Westie wants to leave, uh, Jacob, this camcorder sucks. downtown Lubbock, Texas, out in front of the Lubbock National Bank building. I think the actual name of the building is 1001 Main, the court place. And wait till you see what they have in here. You are in for a treat if you like Otis elevators. Not just any Otis elevator. Me. That's right. Touch sensitive, baby. Start off by going down. Nice. It'll be this one. We'll continue our trip later on. Bye.